King Edward was in love with Mrs. Wallace Simpson, not only an American but also a married woman already once divorced. However, in order to marry the woman he loved, King Edward was willing to give up the British throne, and he did, on December 10, 1936. In 1936, with the death of King George V and the subsequent abdication of the throne by his successor, King Edward VIII that followed. Edward met Wallace Simpson in January 1931 and the pair married in June 1937. The abdication of King Edward VIII was a crisis for the British Empire that stemmed from his desire to marry American socialite and divorcee Wallace Simpson. Simpson had been divorced once and was in the process of divorcing her second husband, Ernest Simpson, prior to that, she was married to U.S. Naval Officer Wynne Spencer. When Edward proposed in November 1936, Simpson was born in Pennsylvania and grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. Her parents both came from high society families, though her father died when she was just five months old. The Simpson family subsequently lived off wealth belonging to her mother's family. The Warfields, though the fortune was controlled by Simpson's uncle, Solomon Warfield. Warfield's father, and Simpson's grandfather was a renowned grain merchant and director of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Simpson's uncle paid for her to attend a prestigious preparatory school in Maryland, Oldfields, where she is said to have earned a reputation for disobedience. She met Edward when she moved to London, and, according to Seba, he is said to have been immediately infatuated with her having fallen for her. For religious, moral, and political reasons, there was strong opposition to the marriage from the British government and beyond. As Simpson would become queen, the rumors that surrounded her left many feeling her behavior was unsuitable for that of a queen. Some believed she was after money and power and was not actually in love with the king. There were also religious implications. The Anglican Church at the time, who, as monarch, King Edward was the head of, would not allow divorced people to remarry if their former spouse was still alive. Since Simpson's divorces were not on grounds of adultery, the only kind of divorce the Church of England would recognize. In the Church's eyes, she was not legally divorced. Ultimately, King Edward chose his love for Simpson over the throne and signed abdication documents on the 10th of December 1936. His reign lasted for just for 326 days and he was succeeded by his younger brother Albert, who became King George VI. Edward was later given the title of Duke of Windsor. The following day, he made a radio announcement on the BBC, in which he was introduced with his new title His Royal Highness Prince Edward. He explained to the British public that he would not have been able to fulfill his royal duties without the woman I love. Thank you for watching Unfolding Saga.